Ooh. Oh. -oh. Ta-da! Hey everybody, welcome to Eric Perkins Artist. I am your artist, Eric Perkins. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome to you as well, and I hope that you'll choose to subscribe by the end of the video. This week I'll be sharing a little bit of my art process as I prepare uh, the projects for Noel Vember and work on a freebie drawing of uh, Isisus, a metaphysicist from the game Anarchy Online. Uh, this is being done for a friend of mine who requested it at the end of October, and I'm really looking forward to doing the final drawing. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about experimentation. This month in the Noel Vember project, my paintings are going to be a little bit experimental. I will be experimenting with a painting technique that I've not used since I was in high school when I was first learning how to paint. So the first thing you're going to see is the prepping of my canvas panels. The beginning of this process is that I lay in uh, two or three coats of gesso on each panel and I try to coat it pretty evenly and uh, just make sure that it soaks in so that when I do get to putting paint on the canvas it has a firm ground to sit on. After the third coat of gesso I apply paint to the canvas to create a background color and that color has been chosen uh, based on what I plan to paint on each of these canvas panels. Next up you will see the uh, concept sketches that I created. Now these are just thumbnail drawings which are tiny, they're barely bigger than a thumbnail, and the purpose of them is to establish the layout and composition of my images before I get into um, painting them on a canvas or drawing on a uh, good paper or you know working really large because it's much easier to simply redo a drawing when it only takes you a minute or so to do it and of course the purpose here is to get the best composition that I can early on and then work with that as a guide when I create the final drawing or painting so I've done these sketches on it's 11 by 17 copy paper it's basically scrap paper that I have laying around and uh, then I begin the process of painting these images onto canvas using purple and I chose yellow to be like my um, highlight or lightning color but I probably should have just went with white but it'll work okay for what I'm doing right here this is just the rough sketch that uh, none of this sketch should actually be visible at the end of the painting process now, I mentioned that I would be experimenting in my painting techniques. The first part of that is that instead of drawing with a pencil on these canvas panels, I just went ahead and sketched with the paint, which is not that um, out of the ordinary for me, but it was a little bit different because I don't usually sketch with paint. Um, However, it saves me the step of uh, sketching it with the pencil and then going over the pencil lines with paint. Instead, I'm just kind of working up the general image with two colors, and I think it worked pretty well. So the next part of the experiment will be covered in next week's video, where I will be laying paint down very heavily on each of these paintings, uh, trying to establish the painting as quickly as possible. And after that, I will, be, I will be applying glazes and washes to finish out the paintings. Now, as I said, I'd be talking a little bit about experimentation. And all of these paintings are going to be an experiment in painting technique. It's not something that's never been done before. It's just something that I've never had any success with because the last time I used it was when I was completely new to painting. Um, so my goal is to 
uh, number one, what I've already done. I've sketched with paint instead of using a pencil. And number two, I will be laying down a initial coat of everything with thick paint. And then I will be using glazes and washes and dry brushing uh, to finish the thing out. Uh, to add all the blending and the textures and whatever into my final painting. Now, usually what I do is I build up my painting very slowly uh, with a lot of thin washes and glazes and dry brushing. And it takes a very long time. So it's my hope that... Uh, probably by the next video, which will be out next Friday, um, I should have some complete paintings for you. Through these videos, we will see how successful this experiment is. And, of course, if it doesn't work out properly, I'll still come up with a solution to make these paintings presentable when they're done. But I think it's going to work. So, we shall see. As we near the end of this video, I need to say thank you to all of my patrons. Your support encourages me to keep on going. And, uh, in fact, all of the canvas panels that I'm working on today were provided by my first patron, uh, Carol and Martine Ramirez. Uh, they've been with me since the beginning. They did not only send me these canvas panels, they also sent me, I believe, colored pencils and watercolored pencils and maybe uh, some watercolor paint as well. Um, so I have plenty of art supplies to get into and I'll be using those in the near future as well. As you'll have noticed, there is one large painting among this group uh, that I'm doing and that is my thank you gift back to Carol and Martine Ramirez and I'll be sending that to them as soon as it gets finished. You could also help to enable my art habit by joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Eric NMI Perkins. I also have uh, printed merchandise on my Pixel site, prints of my work, and originals on Etsy, and you can even hire me to do a drawing for you on Fiverr. So you can check out all of those and my social media in the video description. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked my content, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends. All of those actions help to grow my channel and encourage me to keep creating videos and other content. I am Eric Perkins, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye for now. Okay. That should do. I am Lisa Perkins, and I approve this lesson.